SID, also known as class identifier, is a string of alphanumeric symbols used to represent a specific instance of a component object model or COM-based program. It allows operating systems and software, particularly the ones designed for the Windows operating system, to detect and access software components without identifying them by their names. Although Microsoft has started phasing out usage of COM in favor of the .NET infrastructure, COM is still an important component in many popular programs with no immediate plans for discontinuation. Some examples where COM and CLSID are used include ActiveX, the My Computer Directory, and the Windows Start menu. A typical CLSID in your Windows registry may look like this string. You may encounter a CLSID when a website asks you to update ActiveX or some other program. Your browser will detect the software version by checking its CLSID and will then send this information to the site without compromising your computer. Should you encounter a corrupted CLSID, your system may experience problems related to the specific program the CLSID belongs to. This can include a damaged CLSID that may prevent a particular program from verifying its version and then updating itself. A simple remedy for this instance is to uninstall and reinstall related software. But the most common issue associated with a registry CLSID entry is when a program fails to delete its CLSID from the computer's registry when it's uninstalled. This is a poor programming practice that can clutter your computer's registry with meaningless text entries. However, an idle CLSID entry isn't likely to harm your computer. If your computer is experiencing performance issues related to multiple unused CLSID entries, or it is operating with low system resources, you may leverage one of the many registry cleaner or other system maintenance programs to specialize in removing this CLSID-based junk. How do I remove unwanted or malware-related CLSID entries? Unfortunately, CLSID entries can also be used to run harmful programs, including rootkits, trojans, malicious browser helper objects, and other types of malware. In those cases, the CLSID system launches automatically when certain conditions are triggered. Most reputable malware remediation programs can detect and delete malicious CLSID entries along with the malicious programs associated with them. However, like other common CLSID entries, Leftover CLSID entries related to already removed malware programs cannot cause damage to your computer. In any event, you should regularly scan for and remove unwanted CLSID entries using malware remediation software. You know, as I think about the dangers that exist online, not unlike the subjects we learned about in this video, I know I feel a lot better having an anti-malware program like Spy Hunter installed in my PC providing me the protection I need against malware, and I think you should too. Spy Hunter 5's strongest features are found in its malware repair capabilities. Spy Hunter 5's remediation algorithms dive deep into your system to remove and address complex malware issues affecting PCs today. While many anti-malware products only flag and quarantine malware and ultimately fail to fully remediate the root problem, the Spy Hunter 5 remediation algorithm detects quarantines, and programmatically repairs malware problems on your PC. Spy Hunter 5 is a powerful PC utility that repairs malware threats in many cases where other competing anti-malware and antivirus programs may fail. To detect and remove malware for free, go to enigmasoftware.com and download Spy Hunter today. Thanks for watching. 